Hello everybody and welcome to a good game called Super House of Dead Ninjas. Now this is a game I actually played in high school when uh, when I was bored in class and this was it was like a free version but this version actually has a lot more to it. Now we're gonna read the comic first just to unlock something and to get the story. Issue 1, How It All Begins. This is where I begin my journey. Also, you play as a girl. This is where I begin my journey. I am Nitai Ryoko, the Crimson Ninja, and I hail from a village in a distant part of Chonjan. Chonjan. Not that it matters. What does matter is the dilapidated old lodge before me now, which stands amongst the remnants of a deserted village, and the tower. Legend has it that a one-armed ninja traversed the tower, reached the very bottom, and found the greatest treasure in the world. But that was merely tall tales from idle tongues. He ultimately fell to the tower's infinite darkness. Anyway, that is all in the past. The present, however, brings new stories. Recent whispers tell of the horrific demon Abargus and his diabolical minions who have been terrorizing the nearby villages. This one had already fallen, and more will no doubt follow. Stories abound of innocents being dragged screaming to the tower, the ziggurat of Infinum and locked up forever. What happens to them there? No one knows, but I will soon. I do not want treasure, like so many before me, for that is a fool's errand. I have no need for such trinkets. What I am after are answers. So this is how one enters the tower? Little wonder so few people have seen the inside. This is almost certainly how he would have entered. Hmm. No welcome committee? Strange. I have no choice but to go downwards. Therefore, I will do so, and quickly. I've heard rumors of gigantic beasts soaked, gigantic beasts soaked in the blood of trespassers that give chase if one time runs out. A chance encounter with such monsters would be unwelcome. Aha! So I have use for my weapons at last. A small band of inexperienced ninjas will mill around before me. There will be no match for my gleaming blade. I strike downwards by holding down in the air. I attack with presses of the Z key, beheading some of the ninjas. And I run, jump, and press down to perform a dev devastating airspin attack in the blink of an eye. They all lay de dead, or so I thought. A fairy tale fox thief readies its throwing knife, but I beat it to the draw by pressing X to fire a shuriken at it, cutting short its pitiful existence. And now, the real fun begins. An old master taught me an experimental new rage technique that I can use when I have slain enough of my enemies with it. I become an invincible killing machine. My enemies are easily slaughtered. This may be easier than I thought. As I round the corner, though, I remind myself that I should never let my guard down, for anything could attack me, and shamed as I am to admit it, I cannot withstand many blows. Well, this is most unusual. A sealed treasure room. Time seems to pause. No enemies can approach when I am in here. It almost feels peaceful. Or at least it would be. That skeleton sat in the corner. I wonder how he died. Well, well! Hello there, Ninjet. Couldn't help noticing you staring at the goods over here. They call me Smither, and it just so happens that I prepared a nice treat for a fine lady such as yourself. And you can find it in any one of these three chests. Treasure chests, I mean. You only get to choose one, though, sweet Gates. And I thought reanimated skeletons were creepy enough. I suppose I had little choice but to do as he said. Behold my luck, a magic fire talisman. This allows me to blast flames through from my person with a 
with the press of the spacebar. Come back to see me, the skeleton, soon. Okay, honey. Kaboom! I hope no foes heard that. I had little choice, though. Pressing C to use a bomb in order to destroy fragile blocks was my only way out of the room. It was fortuitous that I remembered to bring them. I have achieved enough recognition from the lodgekeeper to be granted access to other weapons now. Perhaps I should have brought the Kurosagama with its long range, or the nunchucks, and their upgraded ability to deflect projectiles. Or maybe I should try and earn some more power, some more weapons. Uh-oh. I, I have been spotted. With lightning reflexes, I held down the, I held down the down key and built up enough power to jump super high over the cursed statue's flame breath. Nevertheless, I was careless. I almost died. I must pay attention to my surroundings, for death may come from any direction. It is proving far too easy to lose track of how far I've come. I've been traveling downwards. I do not know where I am. Is this floor 100, perhaps? At least the flared minnows of our Abargus haven't found me yet. Well, well, I suppose I s oh, well, I suppose I spoke too soon. Item unlocked. And that pretty much tells you how to play. So, I can unlock all of these weapons. And I got the Devil's Personal X-Ray Glasses. Reveals contents of the crates and enemies carrying items. So. We're gonna go hard. Because why not? So, this is kind of like another version of, um, ah crap, of, um, oh, what's it called? Oh, what is it called? You know that other game I'm playing? Are those spears or just raindrops? Rage! I you you killed my parents. I'm gonna beat you up. Whoa. God dang it. So yeah, there are some enemies that take two kill, two hits to kill. Ooh, health, I need that. I mind as well. Ooh! I gotta go. Dang it. I am so gonna die. But yeah, this game is really fun. Of course. I, I am not following that comic at all. The monkeys are the frickin' worst. I'm just unlocking a crap ton of stuff.
And I am gonna die, because this is the first boss. It said you're dead. <laughs> well, how long have I been recording? You guys probably know. Um, it has been I have no clue how long. <laughs> we're we're going to go for one more try after we visit not visit visit the lodge. Not what I meant to do. You know what? We're gonna play on normal just until I get the hang of it again. So. So, yeah, um. Most of this game is just really repetitive stuff. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, nice. But I'd really like to play speedruns of this, like... I'm pretty sure there are people that can just destroy this game. It was actually a friend that showed me this game. But, um, so this game is a lot like, uh, Dead Cells, in the sense that it's a side-scrolling game. Ooh, what's that? Ugh. Time is on my side. There we go. Abdu. Okay, time to fight the boss with only the sword. Here we go. The bottom is, of course, his health. In case you didn't know that. Crap. kind of got to know like when he's or where he's going to land I will pay for that huh two more if I there we go and we have unlocked some new weapons. The weapons I just unlocked are really good, too. Of course. I don't know what those do, because those were not in the free game that I played, but, um... I can only assume that they are really good items to have. Bruh. 
Well, good thing with easy mode, you can continue. Or normal mode, so let's keep going. We're, we're gonna go until we run out of all lives. Wicked. Hell yeah, bro. That's so wicked. Where are you going with that big sword? Oh, I should have taken the first one. Ouchie. <laughs> it just called me an idiot. I have actually not seen some of these styles. There we go. Of course. Come on, bruh. Okay. That's the last life we have. Hopefully I can find out what it what it spells out when you get all of the letters. Okay. Doom, of course. Okay. Oh yeah. Killing Doom. We're killing Doom guy, guys. A lot of you may not like that, but that's what's happening. Two more hits and he is gone. Ha. You can't hit me. Ha. And there we go. Each each time you go down further, it it gets harder. Also, downward slices kill everything right away, besides that. Come on! Here am I. Okay. Shurikens. Oh yeah. Unlock the rage pickup. Nice. And that is the end. If you guys want me to make another video on this, please leave a like. If we hit 10 likes, I'll make another video. Um, you know what, I'm, I'm going to put that lower. 5 likes. If we hit 5 likes, I'll make another episode. So, But before I go, I'm going to show you what weapons we got. Mm -hmm. So, we got the axe we got the nunchucks and my favorite weapon 
the katana of miffed barbarians so when you behead an enemy it auto kills the only enemy you can't behead is that pig or or whatever you want to call it and then we got extra time and extra magic and then we got a magnet rage uh, I like the fatal sh facial uh, not facial uh, fuchsia sh suit now take the pink panther suit okay guys so like comment subscribe for granny right here and ring that uh, hold on let me hear that sweet ring of the bell and remember don't be afraid of the ghosts. Goodbye.